So if any of you have been animating characters to move objects, lift objects, you know about uh, how you need to constrain the object to uh, one of your controllers. And when you do that, you set a key and then you'll get a blend parent node, which you can you know, put, put at zero or one to pick up the object. And one is going to connect them. The problem with that is it always snaps to the same exact spot on the object every time. So that is an issue if you want to grab an object in a different spot or let go and push it over, over here. Like you can't contact the um, object any other way than the way it was originally keyed. So um, we're going to build a locator rig that's going to help you have more flexibility when it comes to animating with objects. So right now, um, this is a really like makeshift <laughs> thing I built. I don't even know what it is, but I'm going to call it a suitcase. <laughs> um, and he is going to move it um, using this locator rig. So first off, we need a couple locators and we just go to create locator. I'm going to call it hand L for left hand. And then I'm going to control D duplicate it and then drag the second one into the first. And now I'm going to Make sure they're both selected and move them up to the point of contact right now, which is like right center oop, between the hand and the handle, a little bit up. I'm going to make them bigger so I can really see those locators just for an example here. And now that that is all set, we are going to select the suitcase or whatever object you want to move and then control in the outline in the outliner control select the hand locator um, hierarchy and then we're going to constrain parent maintain offset make sure that's clicked add and then now you'll see when we move this suitcase the locators move along with it which is great um, and we can also move the second locator independently. So now that we see that, we're going to put it back in its spot. And we are going to um, uh, constrain the hand to that second locator, this hand L1. So if we select hand L1, and then in the um, viewport, we shift select the hand controller, we Go back to our constraint, make sure it's all good, set. So now the second hand controller here <laughs> I have constrained them to the wrong hand. Okay, my bad, my bad. Um, okay, grab that second one. I'm going to constrain it to this hand controller and constrain parent. And there we go. Okay, so that is now controlling the hand. So we can move the hand back. We can move the suitcase all at once. We can put the hand on the suitcase in a different spot. Oh, Got to grab that controller, that locator, I mean. And we can maybe put it, put our hand here now. Now, if we move it, hand still moves with the uh, suitcase, but in a different spot. What if we want to put it back at the top? No problem. Back at the top it goes. Still moves with the suitcase. So that is awesome. Um, and that's essentially how you do it. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I hope this helped you guys. This can be used in all sorts of instances. And I highly recommend using locators when you build constraint rigs just because it gives you um, lots of options and uh, nothing is permanent. So that is great. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.